Hey, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to almost always guess the ELO correctly. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. So when playing a chess game, the first part of the game is an opening. Same with looking at a chess game like when you're guessing an ELO. So when you just start looking at the chess game, you see the opening. And off the opening, based on what the opening is and how the players play it, you can kind of start guessing what the elo is. Like, for example, if they play like a Grunfeld and they don't lose their queen like right away, or minor piece, it doesn't have to be a queen, I'm just saying they don't blunder right away, then that probably means that they're above a certain rating because the, Gr the Grunfeld I always pronounce that wrong. The Grunfeld is a pretty advanced opening that players under like 2200 usually don't touch. And if they played it well, then I mean, you, you know, that has to mean something like ab above at least 2000. And yeah, that's, that, that's how you just base, that's how you just analyze the opening and guess the elo. And if it's like a bad opening, like, okay, this isn't a bad opening, because I can't think of, oh, okay, the bomb, no, not the bomb cloud, that's just a troll, but I mean, like, something like the wayward queen attack or something, I'm not saying that's a bad opening, but I mean, like, something like that, um, if it's something like that, and then they, like, blunder soon enough, then that probably means that, I mean, you know, they're probably not the highest rating ever, so you can kind of use that to analyze it too. The second part of your game when analyzing and when playing is the middle game, or the middle game, like, anything can happen, but usually you pay attention to those, like, good moves and blunders and creative moves to see, like, if they have, like, a really, like, weird, but technically it works, and it's good, but it's hard to know this move, then, I mean, above a certain rating, you wouldn't find that move. Or if there's a move that, like, they blunder a queen, like, I, I don't know, somebody uh, uses a pawn that's defended on its square to attack a queen, and the queen just takes that pawn. Like, if they do something like that, then you can kind of figure out like, what's the highest rating they could be, and what's the lowest, but if something like that happens, the lowest could go into the negatives, honestly. And then the last part of your game, the end game, um, all end games are very, I wouldn't say similar, like, they're very different, but all have the same like, tactics, you know, in a rook end game, in a bishop end game, it's all similar, and there, like, usually, at a level, like, a thousand or something, they just play random moves, but if they specifically find patterns with their rooks, like, a, or, a, a, like, a staircase with their queen checkmate, or, like, a five-move long tactic with the back rank checkmate, that you can also kind of base how, how how high rated they are because of how good and strong their moves were. And in endgame, the thing about endgame is that you have to know specific patterns that are usually, and I, don't, I wouldn't even say sometimes, like a lot of the time, really long and difficult to see. If they, like, if the player notices, like, more than one of them, then that has to mean something. So the point is, you just... Notice those little mistakes, those little good moves, those creative moves, those, the, just anything in the opening, like, anything, and you try to use all of those things to figure out the rating. And one last tip, other than just looking into the basis of the game, when you already watch the whole game, and you're trying to just figure it out... Try to think, like, what, what's the lowest that it could be off all those moves, and what's the highest? And then, from those two periods of, like, rating, you can kind of figure out, well, what moves were that, and at what rating they, do they do that? And with that, then you can kind of figure out, oh, it's... 
can't think of a random number. It, 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 it's 92. I'm a genius. That's not even a real rating, because ratings can't go that low, but I'm still a genius. Um, so yeah. And a lot of it is in just practice, because, like, with these tips, like, you know, you'll still, you don't instantly become a grandmaster, I'd guess, the ELO. But with practice, if you do, like, all of this in all of your, guess, the ELO... What do you call guess the elos? They're not games. You analyze guess the elo attempts. You won't you won't be a master at them right away, but you'll have to practice a little bit. And if you use all the uh, advice I gave you in this video, um, in all of your elo guessing attempts, um, then you're surely gonna get better. So that's uh, yeah, that's that. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.